Hi everybody, welcome back. I am currently at Z Tejas, so Southwestern Grill, and I will be interviewing Mr. Monroe, or better known as Nicholas Monroe, the professional tennis player. Today I am currently inside uh, Z Tejas and I have uh, the privilege to interview professional tennis player Nicholas Monroe. Okay. <laughs> yeah man, thanks for having me. Um, there's a lot of good things here at Z Tejas here in Austin, so I'll probably just end up getting some uh, a few tacos, and uh, I've heard the fajita is really good, so I might try the fajitas today. What do you think about? What are you gonna get? I think I might also try the fajitas too. The fajitas, yeah. It's yeah. a good call. And I want to also try the street corn on the cob. Oh yeah, I heard that's really good, and we got some cornbread already, so that's really good stuff here. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to try some. Yeah, let's try. And uh, I want to ask you. Um, I've been having like a lot of doubts about tennis, um, but have you ever like thought about like quitting tennis as a junior? Um, when I was a junior, I mean, I started playing tennis when I was four years old. Um, you know, kind of, I played all the sports up until I was about fourteen or fifteen. Played soccer, basketball, baseball. Um, but in in juniors, I was had my dad as my coach, and so I was learning from him, and and I really enjoyed the sport. I really enjoyed the one-on-one -on -one competition. Um, it was one of those things where I just kind of fell in love with it, even though I was still doing the team sports, the soccer, and baseball, and basketball, just to have the team aspect. Um, but then tennis was going pretty well at a young age, but I just, I really enjoyed it. And, um, and then I was able to kind of just stay passionate about it and keep playing. And, and I think as long as you find the love in the sport and just kind of enjoy, just enjoy the everyday of playing tennis and being on the court and the one-on-one -on -one competition, you know, for me, that's that's what it was about. Um, just finding the love in it every day, and and uh, you know, obviously, if there's other sports out there, whether it's team sports and whatnot, that that you're passionate about, it's always good to kind of mix everything in and see what you want to do. I did want to try basketball, but I think I'm a little too short for it now. No, never, never, never too small. I mean, I was a little guy. You know, in 14s, I was 4'10" and I was number one in the country, you know, so as long as you believe in yourself and whatever sport it is, tennis, basketball, whatever it is, as long as you believe in yourself and have fun with it, I mean, the sky's the limit. So, what made you different from your other competitors which made you at the top? What made me different was um, I used to slice a lot, like I used to slice my forehands, I used to slice my backhands, so again, talking about guys that are taller and whatnot, so what made me different is I would slice a lot, so I'd have to make them get under the ball and bend their knees and, and I move them around the court a lot. So instead of me hitting a lot of top spin and letting it come up in their strike zone and whatnot, I was slicing a lot. It was a different game than what any other players had seen. So when they came against me, like they were like, how do we how do we defend this? You know, because I was chipping my forehand, chipping my backhand, I actually had a two hand backhand slice and then you know, and then also I mean obviously a lot goes to my dad. I mean you know, having a great coach and, and someone who understands this strategic part of the game um, a lot better than a lot of coaches. So along with slicing a lot, I understood the strategy because my dad said, okay, you chip them short here, you go deep there, and it, so a lot of good strategy, so. Yeah, the problem with slices for me, I think, is that I don't have enough power in my arms and legs to get deep. And I think it's a trouble for me well, I mean, that's just, I think that's a lot of repetition. I think the more reps you get, and then you start to realize how much legs, how much legs you need in it, how much your shoulder you need in it. So you, the more reps you get, you start to realize, okay, this is what I need to make that effective. <laughs> I mean, I eat everything, but I love sushi. Oh, okay. Because no. no. I wasn't so sure that you were a combination of food or not. So. Oh, yeah. I eat everything. It's funny, when I go like to other countries, I'll, I'll eat like Indian food, but when I'm home, I don't eat it, you know, but it's weird. Like I just forget about it or something, but I'll be like in another country, I'll be like, where's the Indian restaurant, you know? And then when I'm here, I don't, don't eat it, but I'm not very picky. 
Any food you don't like? I, I don't really like Asian food, but I, but uh, my mom tries to feed me Asian food a lot. <coughs> I like I like I like um, I Korean barbecue, but mm -hmm. not at like a high level. But like I think Asian food's okay. And uh, as a junior, have you like ever imagined that you'd be in this place right now and you play in the U.S. Open as a professional? It was something that I I wanted to do. I was visualizing it. I was envisioning it. So, like I said, when I was 14 and I was number one in the country, you know, I think I have a quote in the paper saying I did say I want to be number one in the world. You know, like I, I had this idea that I wanted to play pro tennis. Um, and then through juniors, I was always kind of top 15 in the country the whole time. But in my mind, I knew I wanted to play professional, you know, from watching Wimbledon on TV and watching US Open. So in my mind, I knew I wanted to play professional. I, I, you know, I said I wanted to be number one in the world when I was, in, when I was 14 years old. Um, but I also knew that after juniors, I wanted to go to college. So I made sure I went to college, uh, made sure that I, you know, that I wanted to finish and get a degree. So then I went to start playing pro and then, you know, then I made it up to around 250 in singles. Um, my last few years, and then when I was 30 years old, I switched over to doubles. And so then I felt doubles, I could make that jump, and then I was able to kind of make that jump to play the US Open and to play Wimbledon and to play those things. But it was always just something that I had envisioned and wanted to, to do, you know, and, and so I was willing to put in the extra hours on the court, I was willing to do the extra sprints and lift the extra weights and do. You have to be willing to kind of sacrifice things to to, to push for another level, you know. So as a kid, I was envisioning that. I was watching my Wimbledon US Open on TV, and then I just pushed for it. So I think visualization is key, man. Visualization, staying positive, uh, having fun. And to play professional tennis, you have to be kind of okay with living out of a suitcase, you know. And and, and so um, I enjoy that part of it. I enjoy seeing different cultures. So yeah. It's fun. One thing we didn't do was comment about the boots. Oh, yeah. Say, so, uh, out of 10, the pasta, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Nice, <laughs> nice. And that's coming from a picky eater. Yeah. 9 out of 10. <laughs> um, on the fajitas, same. I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. Um, you know, I, I really do enjoy this this restaurant. They've got a great patios and, and um, but yeah, the fajitas are really good. I'll have to try the pasta next time. Also, the visuals from the start looked really good too. Looked like, appetizing. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. Very appetizing. So, appetizing, so he ate so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so appetizing that he wants to take it home and eat it. So. This place, uh, I was expecting a very nice lunch, and my expectations were met, and I think I had a very great time. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me, and we had a great, great lunch. Um, always good to talk about, you know, new experiences and different things. So yeah, thanks for inviting me. We had a great time. Thanks for coming. Yeah, of course.